Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today I'm gonna spend some time in investing in my EC, and that's because your equestrian center is a huge opportunity for you to make loads of equus for your game. And if you have a lot of equus, I mean, equus can be just as important as passes in some cases because you can buy extra resources from the store that you might need or horses from the sales that you might need for certain objectives and different events and whatnot. So having a lot of equus can be almost as beneficial as having a lot of passes when it comes to completing an event without spending any real money. So the first thing we're going to do, I need to buy some more meadows anyway, just because I'm not taking advantage of the six meadows greenhouses you can have going at once and my passes, pass seeds are tying up the meadows that I have anyway. So we're going to buy some meadows and I think I've kind of already planned some of this out. I'm going to buy four meadows. That'll give me two meadows that I can keep in rotation just for the crops that I have going. And then I can have two meadows that I can rotate for borders. And I do want to work on my EC prestige today. My prestige right now is only at 13%. And if you go to section 1.6 of the EC manual, you'll see that your prestige actually affects the number of workshops you can have in production at once. Because my prestige is below 20%, that means I can only have one workshop going. But if I improve that prestige just a little bit, the next threshold is 20% and then I can have two active workshops going. Next threshold after that is 40% and then I can have three workshops going and then so on and so on. So I do want to actually improve my prestige a little bit, even though I could care less about my prestige in terms of my ranking. It does affect your the number of workshops you can have going and I think that your workshops are just as beneficial as having crops because I have been crafting saddles. I've been crafting one star western saddles in my workshops and those are really nice and it's completely free for me to craft because my equestrian center is in the mountains which means I'm getting iron from resources that I do when I take my horses on missions in my equestrian center. And then the leather is also free because I did harvest leather from cows a while back. So the leather and the iron is completely free. And by crafting the saddles or whatever other items you want to craft, I'm actually making more by spending the extra time to craft this than I would if I had just sold the iron and the leather outright. I'm making extra by spending the time to craft. So that's pretty beneficial. And that's why I want to have another workshop going as well. So we're going to look at this. I got, how many meadows did I get? I got my four meadows. Now I'm going to put one of these in pasture. I don't know why I clicked on the box, but that's okay. I don't even need 25 acres right now because I've only got three boxes, but I want to spend some time to increase my center capacity just by increasing the number of boxes. And yeah, let's go do that. Let's look at boxes real quick. How much are they on here? All right. Hmm. The small boxes are 1300 and the large boxes are over a hundred thousand. I'm, I'm not quite sure if I want to buy the large boxes, the comp, the capacity rating it doesn't care it doesn't matter what size boxes you have that's just the number of boxes that you have total and then the number of horses that you have in boarding but if I go ahead and buy the large boxes the large boxes actually affect your comfort rating and because I'm not really going to have the time to improve my competitions just I'm not going to have the time to try breeding my own skilled horses up to enter my competition so I might try to compensate for that by working on my comfort rating as well hmm. I tell you what we can do we'll we'll waste some money and buy two more boxes and then I can board my own horses in there and I board my own horses in here because I can ensure that I'm the one who's that I, I can't ensure that I'm actually doing missions every day. So I'm still gaining iron resources for my EC. So I'll buy those. And then I think what I'll do is that once I get another, once I have enough prestige to get another workshop going, because it shouldn't take too much to get to 20%. Once I get the second workshop, I'll start crafting boxes, three star boxes in my workshop. And that will be a lot cheaper because what I figured out earlier is that the cost of one three-star box is 
over 100,000. But if I craft two of these in a medium workshop, because in a medium workshop, I can actually craft two three star boxes, that will cost me, I think it was 99,000 to craft two of those. So I can actually craft two of them for the price of buying one. I think I might do that. That'll work. And then I need bedding. That'll that'll be an easy, easy one to improve. I only have straw right now. That's okay. I think what I'll do because I now have extra those aren't my meadows. <laughs> I have so many tabs open. I have that's not meadows. Oh my goodness. Okay. I have I have extra meadows now. So what's it's spring. Okay, cool. It's spring. That means I can plant flax. And once my flax is ready to harvest, I'll put the flax in for bedding instead of straw because flax is actually better than straw when it comes to bedding. It'll improve your prestige more. So that will be an easy one to fix. And I don't have that many boxes. It won't take up that much bedding. So I can still sell any extra flax that I get. I totally forgot to put a tractor in that meadow. Darn it. Ugh, blast. Oh, well, because I do have a tractor. Look, I have a tractor. I could have put a tractor. Yeah, don't, I recommend not, you know, once you start getting enough money that you can put tractors in your meadows, I always recommend to plant your crops on a meadow with a tractor because that will increase the size of your harvest and it will just be more efficient that way. I just, yeah. Oh, well, you live in your learn. You live and learn, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well. Okay, so that's my meadows. Meadows are good. I bought my extra boxes. Okay, I got my straw. What else can I work on today? I think I sold something. I didn't have that much before. What did I sell? Oh, sweet. Oh, so what I did, this is like a side, side note update thing. I put in... I won that Philosopher's Stone from the Wandering Horses event. I don't know which, which one was it. I think it was the Wandering Horse that you had to enter the competitions for. I think he gave you a Philosopher's Stone. So I put that up for two Aphrodite's Tears. I got the Aphrodite's Tears pretty quickly. And then I went and I sold the Aphrodite's Tears for 300000 each. So that's pretty nice. That's awesome. I've got so much Equus now. And I meant to sell my Wheat Brand because I thought I would need loads of Equus in order to buy my meadows and whatnot that kind of makes me want to go and buy a box a large box I mean oh it'd just be so much cheaper though to wait oh well I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna buy another workshop now just so I know that I bought it I'm gonna buy a medium workshop okay and then hopefully my EC prestige will increase a bit overnight and then I can have two of them going tomorrow. So we didn't increase the size of my boxes yet because I only have one star boxes. I did put straw, so I've got bedding now. That will help. I don't have any showers and water troughs to add, but because I get iron from my EC from doing missions, I can start crafting those on my own. That'll be nice. And then meadows, that will go up. That will totally go up overnight because I didn't even have any meadows from borders before. That might go up a hair. I'll have to get some horses and board those in there. That's not going to increase much. I don't think I don't, I don't know what skilled, I don't know what skill level my horses have. And yeah, I don't really have much time to spend on here to bother with the competitions. They're enough of a bother on my main game anyway. Okay, that's all that. I've got my meadows. I think, yeah. I think we're good. I'm not sure if I want to buy another greenhouse or not. It might be, I like having extra greenhouses because that way then when winter hits, you can still have, you still have your greenhouses. But I think once my, once these past seeds are done, I'm going to end up putting another batch of cows in this pasture anyway. So I think that's it for today. I'll keep an eye on my EC prestige and then hopefully it'll hit 20% overnight and then I can immediately start crafting the three star boxes in my second workshop and then once those boxes are crafted and ready I'll keep those for my EC and that will boost my comfort rating a little bit and I think kind of as I go along I'll just craft some three star boxes at least until I can get about 
three workshops going. That's really nice. Just a, a quick tip that somebody I heard from another player on International, I think this is a really good tip, is that if you want to quickly boost your horses level ranking, easy way to do that, go ahead and buy an instructor for your EC because the instructor will take just the four best borders into account in your prestige calculation. It's a really quick and easy way to boost your prestige because on international, what I do, I always have extra diamonds to spend and you can actually buy the employees with diamonds. And I think it's a really good investment. It was a really nifty tip that this player imparted I think was a really good idea because for my EC on international I just have loads of pass horses and boarding there that way I'm collecting resources and it's a cheap way to board them and then I just have four really high skilled horses in boarding and it boosts my my horses level prestige up to 70% just by having those four horses in there because this instructor will only take those four horses into account and it's just a really nice way if you have an extra pass or some diamonds to invest in this because like I said the more workshops you have going in production then the more equis you can make for your ec so i've got those two passes and i'm not sure well i'm definitely not going to buy the instructor right now because i don't have any horses that are it i don't think it would be quite worth it with the horses that i do have right now but i'm gonna hold on to those passes i'm still not sure if i want to invest them in a horse to sell maybe or i was contemplating getting the Pegasus account because then I can get three extra exchanges a week and that'll be a nice easy way to make some more money but I don't have enough black market items right now that I think warrants the three extra exchanges so I'll think about that but that's my equestrian center like I said it's a good good thing to invest in improve your prestige to get more workshops going and definitely have as many meadows and greenhouses as you can have going at one time because your equestrian center is just an easy way to make money for yourself. So that's all for today. Thank you guys for joining me and I will talk to you soon. Bye.